I wouldn't put too strong. You can put 30 pounds of air through it. So I've got it all back together. Okay. You can see how much it's happening. YouTube, it's that time again. Got the old rain barrel all cleaned out, pulled out all the filter pads, and uh, had all the filter pads hot dipped and steam cleaned to get all the bacteria out of them, both the coarse and the fine coarse. But this year I decided to make a change in it. Doing seasonal clean outs, you know, you'd probably do it every 45 days you want to clean the bottom of it out. But I noticed that I was not getting everything out of it. So it was difficult to clean to get all in between it, these uh, pads, to get them cleaned out. So I went and purchased uh, this long air blower. It's about 28 inches long. And last year I was taking it going down in between the pads, disturbing some of that mark and debris and getting it to loosen up so I could get it cleaned out. I said, oh, okay, that's pretty good. But I wanted something more permanent that I could just like turn on a switch get it to blow air all over these pads to break away some of that mulch and debris. So what I did is I purchased a 12 inch ream. I had to extend it a bit because it was a little short to fit around the base of this diverter that as you see in previous videos that we stick down into the rain barrel. So I've got it all ready to go. I'm gonna start putting it together. Um, you can put, I put some real good clamps on this so you can put 30 pounds of air through it. That should gyrate the air bubble should dry rate most of this debris off the pads so you'll have less to do during your summer cleaning. So let me put it together and I'll shoot you another video. So I've got it all back together. I've got the 12 inch ring just underneath the uh, water diverter. Um, just got it all screwed back together. Sorry about the light there. And I'll show you the effect I was trying to get. I'm going to put about about five or three pounds of air through it and uh, you'll get a chance to see just exactly how much uh, vibration uh, the water creates. So this is with only three pounds of uh, air pressure coming through the holes. You can see it does a pretty good job of uh, getting the water to move, possibly to shake off any debris that might be stuck down underneath the pads. I'm gonna go ahead and completely put all the coarse pads in, put the filter screen back in as you see in the previous videos, and then we'll uh, see what it does from there. Thanks. I've got most of the coarse pads back in now, loosely packed in, you know, not standing on top of each other, but loosely packed in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the aerator and just see how it works, comes up through the coarse pads. Well, you can see how much action I'm getting coming up between the course pads. And again, this is only three pounds of air. I plan to push a lot more through it when I'm cleaning it to really get that uh, water to moving all around the pads. But I think this is gonna work for the 30-day uh, cleaning out of uh, the muck out of the filter. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the uh, fine pads now. Okay, I've got all the fine pads back in. Uh, I go ahead and prime the filter with some good bacteria. And uh, I want to turn that air on just to show you again what it looks like uh, uh, with just three pounds of air coming up between the pads. So again, that's just three pounds of air coming up between the pads. That's straight from the bottom. So that should circulate a lot of that mulch. So when you get ready to back drain this, you should be able to loosen up quite a bit. Because when I click, when I was cleaning the pads, I noticed that. Some of that stuff is really kicked on the bottom of the pad because nothing is getting down there to move it. So I hope this helps. I'll, I'll let you know by the end of the summer if this was uh, a go or a no-go. But I pretty much think it's going to be a go to add the air uh, ring to the bottom of your ring, to the bottom of your uh, bill. Thanks. As always, you two. Happy coin. Just route your uh, air holes out the side using a, one of those uniseals like I showed you in the previous uh, videos. And you can still put the top one and seal the unit back up. 